Welcome back into a new video of TaxPress. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to verify your Namecheap domain directly here into the Google Search Console. This is an essential step that will help you track your website performance and improve its visibility into Google. So first of all, I'm going to sign into Namecheap. What I need to do, of course, is to make sure that I have an actual account here into Namecheap and you have an actual domain in order to make the purchase. Into my account and let's go into domain list. If you don't have a domain list, you can go directly into domains and make a purchase of one product. So once I have my domain, I have to make sure that I have both accounts ready before proceeding. So I'm going to leave this domain list as it is, and I'm going to head directly into the Google Search Console. Now we're going to hit into Start Now, so you can improve my performance here. Now as you can see, this is an actual website that we currently have. So what I need to do is to make sure that I go here into the upper side, so you can start adding your domain directly into the Google Search Console. So if you hit into add property, what I can do is to select the domain type option here. It says domain add property. So we can add domain option to verify an entire domain, including all the subdomains and product host or a URL prefixed. In this case, we already have a full domain. So I'm going to go back here into Namecheap. I'm going to focus into one domain that I would like to make the process for, for example, exana.store. So I select these. I copy my URL and I paste this domain. If you hit into continue, it might be telling you that this verification should now have a DNS record element. So uh, I needed to add the record type, which is a TXT file. So this is an actual verification code that we needed to paste directly into Namecheap. So it's going to be an actual really easy process. For that, let's go back into Namecheap and I select my domain. Into domain, let's go directly into manage. Now into Manage, we have the exana.store. If I go into Advanced DNS, you can see that we have a lot of records added here. If I go for Add New Record, I can scroll a little bit down and look out for TXT Record. Now back here into the Google Search Console, usually it's going to be asking us to copy this and paste it into this value. Now the overview says that signing to the domain provider and just copy this. So usually this should be at or triple W and hit the TTL should be automatic. I'm going to hit now to save my changes and my Google site verification has not been added automatically though. Scroll down to the host records and add it. Uh, you can even set the host to add or just leave it as a default. So after adding the DW code, go back directly into the Google search console and clicked now into verify. So this might be taking a few minutes for changes to propagate, so be patient. That's the reason why your own verification might be failing. So you make sure that you have to uh, wait a few minutes till this process has now been successfully done and you can try it out a minute later. Once you verified, you'll see success managed. You can now access all the tools and the inside Google console offers improved your website CEO and track performance. If this one appears to app after a few minutes and you still does not see that the ownership has verified, you want to make sure that you have pasted the correct TXT records and the right value copied and pasted here into the DNS of the name chip. Now, in this case, the verification method has not been successfully done. So let's go here into Don. And if I go back here into the domain property, you can select this. And now I have access directly into my Exana store property, which is Google Search Console. So I can now start to check out the performance, the indexing, the experience, the engagement, and much more. So if I click into the performance, I can check it out more about my website, how it's actually going to be looking, the URL expecto, what I can do to, let's say, make this process much more faster and make this work out really so more. So you can see improved Google process, for example, I can click here and I can get started with more elements, for example, getting started uh, with the search console, what I can do to begin into the CEO and what I can do to maximize shows and coworkers and much more. So what I can tell is just to you last time, just in case that this is not working for you, you can contact directly with the Google Elements here until the upper side, go for your account and go directly into the Manage Support and Help Center. The next solution is to go into the name chip and into the upper side, you'd have to the account element and you can contact them just in case there is an actual issue with your domain. Make sure that inside your domain, there is no restrictions automatically added and the status of your personal account is deactivated. So that's it. You have successfully verified your name to your domain into Google Search Console. 
If this video was helpful for you guys, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe for text price, and hit that notification bell for more tutorials. Thank you once again for watching the video, guys. Hopefully, we can all see you next time.